Now, another scenario is when people call up and they say, you fixed this recently, and now this other thing doesn't work. The, again, this is something that's just going to happen. If somebody drops their iPhone down a stairwell of four or five, you know, and it actually bounces off each stair, call me crazy, there's a possibility they broke something about the screen. And again, if your phone is these little sh shards of glass sticking out of it, you probably haven't tested every single function of it before going to some place. When people drop their phone down a set of stairs, they're probably, the first reaction is not, you know, let me see if my front and back camera work along with the booting process. The, they probably just search Google iPhone screen repair and go to, or walk by a place and just get it done. Now, there are ways to handle these calls. I'm going to show you the right way and some of the wrong ways. And, and this is what, in my opinion, is the right way and which is the wrong way. And then I'm going to explain why one of them is right and why one of them is wrong, based on experience. Those two have nothing to do with each other. It's impossible that that was done by us. No. No. I mean, I could look at it, but I, could, I wouldn't be able to help you. That, that has nothing, the screen has nothing to do with the intent. No. Are you trying to scam us into fixing something for free? Or, I mean, listen, I can't help you. Goodbye. Now, again, I'm not saying that what that guy said is incorrect. A lot of the times, you know, People are just paranoid and think that you broke things you didn't break, or they notice things that, you know, like they're, they're getting into the subway and, they're, and they don't, they, you know, the call cuts off two seconds sooner. People are sometimes paranoid after a repair. So I understand why there are texts that will talk like that to people. However, it's very wrong. Because as soon as you start going on the defensive, it puts them on the defensive too. And you have no chance to resolve the problem. That person is obviously going to leave a miserable review that says that you broke their phone. They're going to tell every single person they come into contact with that you broke their phone. Keep in mind that this is, again, a 10% repair, 90% psychology-based business. If you are immediately ac accusing somebody of trying to screw you, they're going to immediately assume that you tried to screw them. And reality is not what is important here. Perception is. And if you talk to somebody like that, they're going to perceive that they've been screwed and you're going to have a bad reputation. Now let's move on to the next way that you can handle a customer, which is assuming that you messed it up. How can I help you? Yes, I remember you from earlier today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, you're correct. It is possible. It's, I, I could have just ripped something while I was inside of there. Yeah, bring it in. I'll just replace it. It's probably ripped. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that for you. You know, I mean, it should happen from time to time, but, you know, I'll fix it again. Okay. Cool. Now, that's a better way to handle it. The, some responsibility was taken for the problem, and they were nice to the customer. But it's still the incorrect way to handle it. Now, the first, above all reasons, is that you've admitted responsibility to something that you don't even know that you did. You haven't even looked at it so that you could remember what you may or may have not done during the job. You haven't looked at it to see if anything's even wrong. That's not the right way to handle it. Because as I stated before, you need to put confidence in the customer at all times. And if you immediately say, oh, I messed this up, they're going to think, do I really want to bring this thing back to this guy? He, he messed it up the first time. He even said he didn't put it back together right. A lot of people won't think like that, but enough will that it will hurt your reputation if that's immediately the way you answer the phone. And even if you do want to take responsibility and own up to what you've messed up, that is not the way to do it. You should not admit to a mistake before you even know that you've made one. So that is all that is the wrong way to deal with it. How can I help you? Yeah, we, we, we fixed that earlier today for you. What can I do for you about that? Okay, um, I'm sorry to hear that it's exhibiting that problem. Well, I'm not sure if that happened because of something that we did during the repair or if it was something additional broken that we didn't notice. I apologize if we didn't notice. I mean, 
honestly, the only, well, yeah, but, ma'am, the only way that I'll be able to tell if that's something that we did or something that happened when the phone was dropped is if you bring it in and let us look at it. And again, I'll put aside what I'm working on right now, and I'll look at that for free. And if it's something we did, I'm not going to charge you any money. And if it, honestly, if it winds up being some simple thing that occurred as a result of the drop, I'm happy to just fix it for free, unless it's something, yeah, unless it's something complicated that is unrelated to our repair. But I mean, the only way I'm going to be able to tell is bring it in. And again, it's, it's free for us to look at it. It's free for us to figure out what's going on with it. I want you to have a working phone. So if you, if you could just uh, come on by, I'm happy to look at it and figure this out for you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you at 7. What I've done right there was, in my experience, the best way to handle these problems. You don't want to give off the idea that you're used to breaking people's laptops or phones or amplifiers or whatever it is you're fixing. Whereas if you pick up the phone and the second they say something, you go, oh, yeah, I probably screwed up this. Just uh, bring it back in and I'll fix it for you. They're going to get the idea that you break that for everybody. And if you are very, very defensive on the phone and say, no, that has nothing to do with that. No, those two are not related at all. You can say that, but again, they're going to think that you're trying to scam. What I like to do is always assume that there is a possibility that we messed up, but never portray to the customer that that is precisely what happened. You should always be willing to entertain the idea that there's something else wrong, but never definitively state during, during that process that you did something wrong, if that makes sense. For example, in politics, this is called mistakes were made. Not, we should have done this, or we made a mistake, or I made a mistake and passed this policy agenda. It's mistakes were made. I don't know who made the mistake. Did I make the mistake while I was fixing your phone? Did you make the mistake when you dropped it and didn't tell me that something else is wrong with it? Who knows? But it really does work. This person's going to come in. I'm going to look at it. And if it's something simple and easy, I'll just go and give it back to them and be on their way. 